Hey guys, Lissandra here, and uh, today I'm going to do a follow-up video on on something uh, I covered um, last time. It was an uh, experiment uh, video, and um, what I want to follow up on is uh, what exactly happened in detail with the uh, this... Uh, what exactly happened in detail with this chemical reaction? Uh, if y'all haven't seen the video or so, uh, please follow the link that I have on the uh, on the screen. It's also uh, I also have the link uh, down below in the description, so please check out the video. But um, anyway, let's get started. So, uh, what what happened is that. Uh, I got a, I got a container, a glass container, okay, and uh, it's a glade, it's an empty can, uh, glade candle uh, glass container, okay, so uh, I got this container uh, and what I did is I pretty much, pretty much filled it up um, a, a little bit with uh, with bleach, okay. Uh, okay, with bleach, okay, which is. Uh, which is essentially s sodium um, sodium hypo sodium hypochlorite okay which the formula is uh, like I mentioned last time N A O C give me a second N A O C L okay A O C L okay that's the formula for bleach and what I did uh, up here, I pretty much uh, on top of this, pretty much blended it. Is I put a layer, uh, well, not a layer, uh, I poured in uh, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen per. Hydrogen peroxide. Okay. So, uh, and this is H2O2. Okay, so uh, now that you kind of get the idea and, and everything, okay, I blended these two and it vigorously reacted like, like you see in the video. Okay. And what happened is this. Um, let's do a little stoichiometry. So, in one re uh, one of your reactants is your bleach, your uh, sodium hypochlorite. Okay, NaOCl plus H2O2. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just kind of take a look at this. So you have um, you have your sodium, and you have um, you have H two O two. Now um, we all know that if uh, you react water with uh, rea uh, react water with uh, with sodium, is gonna um, Form uh, sodium hydro 
hydroxide, okay, and AOH, okay. It is it's kind of close to the formula of water, but in reality, it's not quite water, uh, okay, because of the extra oxygen atom that it has over here. So what happens is that uh, if you if you look here, you have uh, you have a chlorine atom and uh, you have two um, you have two uh, hydrogen. So what you get is uh, HCl, which is hydrochloric acid. Okay, hydrochloric acid. Okay, now that you get uh, get that, okay, you have uh, get this HCl, but you also get uh, something else, and um, and what happens is that you you're left with uh, you're left with a negative hydroxide ion and uh, and a uh, free oxygen. Uh, particle so uh, you're left with this and this okay and if you know very well sodium is uh, is positive charged okay so these attract and what you get is Na H, okay. Uh, sorry, I kind of stalled uh, a little bit here, but uh, you get NaOH, which is lime or drink cleaner or uh, the scientific name. So, uh, sodium, okay. yes, yeah, sodium hydrox hydroxide. Okay, so you get sodium hydroxide. Okay, so let me kind of clear it up a little bit. Okay, so you already have your hydrochloric acid and your sodium hydroxide but we're missing something else also okay and if you right here is okay and a o h okay and um we got um we got these two hydrogen but what happened is since these were formed the hydrogen from here and um, here's the other hy uh, hydrogen hydroxide. Um, you're left with one oxygen here and one oxygen here. So what happens here is uh, because um, because of this, this uh, this pretty much you end up with O2, which is oxygen, oxygen gas. So let me kind of clean this up a little bit okay so Na OCL plus um, H2 uh, let me write this H2O2 okay and H Na um, NaOCl H2O2 okay so we already concluded hydrochloric acid plus 
N A O H and oxygen gas. Okay. However, although these have uh, these two reactants have reacted, it doesn't stay the same like this because uh, what happens is that this per this precipitates out which is was all the fizzing you saw in the other video which was all the fizzing you saw when uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, fell on leach okay but another thing happened and what happened is that these two reacted so not only do you get a reaction from these you also get a reaction from these two as well so what happens now is uh, if you know very well uh, in chemistry what happens when you combine an acid with a base you get what you get is a salt and water Okay, so in this case, the salt is going to be regular table salt, which is NaCl and um, water, which is H2O. Okay, and um, the, re the reason why is H plus the hydroxide, it forms the water. Okay. Na plus Cl it forms it forms the table salt down here, and this is the uh, and this is the reason why I was able to taste it without uh, having any trouble or anything. Of course, I made sure I put more of this to for any unreacted products and all. But in reality, bleach in very small doses like negligible uh, trace amounts it's not that toxic like if you were to chug a, uh, a huge amount but anyway uh, you get salt um, and water the salt water any any salt and water do you classically call this brine okay they call it brine and of course the oxygen precipitates out so anyway, I hope you understood what uh, what actually happened in the other video and all. But um, anyway, uh, that will be all for now. So I'll conclude this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.